Today is going to be a demonstration video on generator panels. We have a number of our clients that have generator panels with manual transfers like behind me. So we just want to go through from start to finish how to do the startup procedure and how to do the shutdown procedure. As you can see in front of me, we have uh, a main panel up top and then we have a generator panel. What this is, is the main panel feeds the generator panel with 30 amps. And we have transferred a bunch of the essential loads to the generator panel. Now on the bottom of the generator panel, this one is actually mounted upside down, could be right side up, could be sideways. You have two sides, you have generator supply and you have utility supply. Now this is a square D model, so it has a little flip ring. There are also uh, Siemens models, which is known as ITE or Murray. They usually have a flip bar, uh, bar, so it either goes one way or the other. And then you also have Eaton, which actually has uh, a latch that you have to flip up and then move over. In any case, you can't have both on at once, you see that? So you can only turn the generator on or you can turn the utility on. In the event of an outage, what you're gonna do is start your generator up outside. And this is for um, these 30 amp panels will cover up to 7,200 watts. Any generator rated from 5,000 watts right up through to 50, uh, 15,000 watts. And this would include a portable gas or portable um, propane that has an L14-30R prong on it and I'll show you outside. So any generator, basically a portable generator that like I said is 5,000 to 15,000 watts that has an L14-30R. So an L14-30R is a four wire twist lock receptacle that your electrician is going to supply for you and that plugs in right there. Now it has uh, a neutral on it that has a bent so it only it only plugs in one way so when you plug it in you're gonna push it in and twist it and then you're gonna plug into the outdoor receptacle that your electrician has supplied for you that goes into the generator side of the manual transfer switch on the generator panel so these come in a variety of configurations but this is an L1430R so it gets plugged in so what you're gonna do in an outage the proper steps is the power is gonna go out you're going to come out and you're going to start your generator. So you want to start that up guys? Now, once your generator is started, most of them will have a breaker that you can turn the power on or off. This one doesn't. So we'll go inside and talk about that. Some portable generators will have a breaker right on them, other port portable generators won't. So the important thing you should do is start your generator, let it warm up during an outage. After that, you can turn the generator breaker on and plug it into the hose. Then you're going to come inside and do the transfer. The event of an outage, and we're going to simulate this, boom, now it's dark. Okay, so you're going to need your flashlight. When you come down here to your generator panel, what you're simply going to do is this little latch here, that says utility, you're gonna shut that off. You're gonna, that frees up this ring to spin. You're gonna spin that ring around and then you're gonna turn the generator on. And we are powered up off the generator. Everything in this generator panel is now powered. Now one other thing I'd like to mention is that this is assuming that the power goes out and you get to the generator, pan, the, the generator transfer immediately. So let's say that the power goes out in the middle of the night um, you're not going to bother to get up and start your generator, you start the next morning. What's happened in this situation is that the fridge is starting to get warm, the water may be used, the water pump may be used. Um, when you turn that stuff on, it actually loads it up. So a good idea in that situation is to turn all your individual breakers off first and then turn them on at one, a time, one at a time. Because if you load the generator up too much, it's actually going to trip it out. So you don't want to get into that situation. In the event that the power comes back on, you're simply going to shut your... So let's turn the power back on to show you here. So the utility has come back on. So what you're going to do is then you're going to shut your generator off. You're going to flip the switch back over to utility and you're going to turn that utility switch back on. And now you're back on utility. 
So that applies to all models of generator panels with manual transfer. Now it's very important to turn that utility switch back on. If you do not turn that back on, then the stuff in your generator panel will not come back on. So that's extremely important. After your power comes back on and you transfer over to your uh, utility again inside on the generator transfer, you can come outside, shut your generator off, obviously unplug it, and then put your generator away. You should usually wait uh, a few minutes to let the generator cool down before you do that. So that's pretty much it guys. So step one is to, during an outage, get your generator out, start it up, let it warm up, plug it in. Then you're going to go inside, you're going to flip your transfer switch over from utility to generator. After the event of the outage comes uh, is over, then you're going to go back and you're going to turn the generator breaker off and you're going to turn the utility breaker back on. That is very important. Now there are several, diff several different models. Check with your electrician to make sure you, you confirm the proper op operation. But that's pretty much it. So we hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one.